Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, guys, if you're looking for my personal information to book a reading, it's in the description box below the video. If you're looking for the extended, it's in the description box and in the comment section and if you're looking for all 12 signs they'll be at the back of the video so let's get into this reading for Taurus. oh there's a truth about something coming to a full stop ending um somebody is is back and forth or juggling somebody playing mind games and manipulation. There's like, you're back and forth about somebody playing mind games and manipulation. You're looking back at the past and I feel like you're trying to find peace and balance. You may be um, having some regrets or there may be a queen of swords having some regrets or missing. You may be missing a queen of swords, your wish fulfillment and something long-term and committed. You want a new passionate beginning, but somebody is out in the cold. You feel like this person is your destiny. So divine timing, this is your pre-empress, but you, you feel I've got to find out if that's blocked or overcoming obstacles, whatever that seven of wands energy is. You're coming in as a king of wands. I see it. I want it. It's mine. So you're coming in very charismatic, good looking, but I feel like there's deception and burden in a situation. There was deception and burden in a situation. You're coming in as a king of swords, though. When you communicate, you're matching their energy. You're coming in to match this person's energy when you do talk to this person. So I feel like that, that ace of swords is somebody coming in to speak a truth about why something came to a complete halt um because you're back and forth because you want to win you want to you, you wanted to win here the truth the truth about a new beginning um and i feel like you know it came to a halt the truth why something ended was you had a new beginning with an option you were juggling you were juggling somebody from the past and i feel like you wanted to win but now there's somebody getting justice for the mind games and manipulation. Somebody from the past is getting um, justice in the situation, right? Looking back at the past mistakes in the relationship and trying to find peace and balance to have a victory. Somebody is either missing. I feel like you're missing. You're missing this. You want to communicate that you miss this queen of swords, right? But you're, you have very strong emotions about this. Um, I feel like you may be hiding this, but you do want to communicate to them that you miss them. It's almost like you don't want them to know, but you do, you do, but you don't. It's almost like you're like, you know, you're afraid to be vulnerable. That's what this is. Your wish fulfillment. You feel like your wish fulfillment's blocked in something long-term and committed in for energy. You want this new passionate beginning, but you're kind of discontent out and you're unhappy out in the cold because you know, you need to heal the situation. Now, you're either the pre-empress or the emperor here. You're either queen of swords or the king of swords. But you're certainly not coming in at this point as a king of pentacles. I feel like this is your person. You feel like this person is your divine soulmate. But I feel like you have to overcome obstacles. Because of this ending, something had come to a halt because of juggling, right? And again, with the five of swords energy, it's repeating the same thing over here, that somebody was paying mind games and manipulating, but somebody saw this. Somebody saw through the bullshit. They really did. They saw through the bullshit. And, and you know, that's just causing a power moment. So your person, this pre-empress, they saw right through it, right? You're coming in as the king of wands, but the king of wands is the emperor in a lower vibration. And it has to do with the burden of all of the deception, the lies, right? You have a king and a queen of pentacles here. You have a couple that's married, Taurus. You could be married, whether you're the king or the queen, take it how it resonates with you, right? But there was deception here. There was lying. Somebody was lying and somebody needed strength to move forward and, and protect themselves from this, right? You, you know, you, you are, you could be married to this person, but it's on now you're, you're kind of obsessed with apologizing because of a queen of wands. 
to your empress. So you may have you may have a hard time um, apologizing for what what's happened. Now you're kind of obsessed with it. <coughs> you're not speaking to this person, I can tell you. Because I'm coughing, my throat's closing. It's telling me that you're not speaking to this person right now. That's happening for Taurus. <laughs> you want a victory in a situation. You may come in as a friend or a friendly, you know, this is your stability. It's almost like, I almost feel like there's a victory with friends helping you in a situation, but this is stability in a ring. So this is stability in a commitment. And you may have friends around you. There's the key trying to get the answers. But there could be a lot of gossip going on around it as well. But this is you working on rebuilding and having a new beginning. There may be a lot of gossip around what's going on here. You're going to get the answers that you need or your person is. Take it out. Resonates with you. But this is about having a new beginning and uh, instability and a, a commitment. Friends may be around to help the relationship, right? Friendship. So I feel like there's some friendships around here that are helping this relationship. Nostalgic because you've known these people for the longest time thinking of you. New perspective. They see, they're seeing something from a different perspective here. What does Taurus need to know? Flexibility, truth, purification, and forgiveness. It's almost like the truth will set you free. So it's almost like they're trying to, with this truth and purity, it's like this person better come, come in with the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, right? You want forgiveness? It's almost like, They want to bend the truth with that flexibility. I'm feeling like they may want to bend the truth, but they better come in correct. Um, if they want forgiveness, you're not going to. Yeah, they're taking control. They're 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 given the leadership. They're in that leadership role, taking control of the situation. Forgiveness is here twice and moving forward. Um, with confidence to heal a situation. So somebody's going to, feels like that they can um, offer this, you know, apology and that they'll be forgiven and they're going to be able to, you know, have smooth sailing in the future. So maybe so, maybe so. So I'm going to, I'm going to get you all 12 signs and then I'm going to take this to Gumroad and I'm going to see if, if there is going to be forgiveness in this situation. Um, will you be able to overcome these obstacles that are in front of you right now in this relationship? So let's see. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what we got for Taurus. What is going on for my bull gang? Okay, Taurus. What's the energy for Taurus? Give me the energy for Taurus, then all 12 signs around Taurus, starting with Aries. Okay, Taurus. There's an ending. So you want to, something's going to transform so that you can offer your cup. So something's going to transform so that you can offer your love to somebody you want to be with. If you're dealing with an Aries, 
it's illuminated the deception if you're dealing with a taurus somebody is is trying to hold back an apology or holding back from apologizing if you're dealing with a gemini there's a tower moment with a aries leo or a sag if you're dealing with a cancer there's an opportunity with somebody from the past if you're dealing with a leo I feel like there's an opportunity, someone wants to heal and have a new beginning. If you're dealing with a Virgo, somebody is, is um, I feel like they're very unhappy about a loss. They're discontent about a loss. If you're dealing with a Libra, somebody is very guarded about something long-term and committed. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, somebody's moving on from the, the mind games and manipulation. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they're manifesting a foundation, a relationship. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody is blocking somebody, somebody, somebody's cock blocking. Okay. That's what this is. They're blocking a new passionate beginning. If you're dealing with a, an Aquarius, I feel like, um, you're moving on from a queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and if you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody is at a crossroads about whether or not they're going to take that leap of faith. So let's get into this, guys. Um, guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. I will take this to Gumroad and we're going to find out what else is happening. So um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you over on Gumroad for the extended.